In a tumultuous turn of events that shocked the world, the democratic hopes of Niger were crushed when the ominous specter of a coup reared its head once again. On July 26, 2023, the members of the Presidential Guard, the very guardians entrusted with protecting the nation's leader, brazenly detained President Mohamed Bazoum within the confines of his own palace in the capital, Niamey. The coup's orchestrator was none other than General Abdurrahman Chiani, a close ally of Bazoum's predecessor, Mohamedou Isufu, who unapologetically proclaimed himself the head of a new military junta known as the National Committee for the Restoration of Democracy and Security CNRDS. Only five months had passed since Niger experienced a historic democratic transition, when Bazoum was elected to power. However, his victory was not without opposition. Former President Mahaman Usman bitterly contested the election results, alleging fraud and adamantly refusing to concede defeat. This fragile political landscape was exacerbated by the nation's grave security challenges, as Islamist militants and ethnic conflicts relentlessly plagued the already impoverished West African country. As the news of the coup spread like wildfire, the world watched in horror and condemnation. Global powers, such as Russia and the West, whose strategic interests in Niger were deeply tied to its uranium deposits and its role in countering terrorism in the Sahel region, expressed their outrage. The United States and France, both having troops stationed in Niger, vehemently denounced the coup and demanded the immediate release of President Bazoum. In a show of regional solidarity, the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS, decried the coup, threatening to employ force to reinstate constitutional order. In the midst of this chaotic upheaval, the unrest in Niger unveiled a deeply rooted resentment towards the West among certain segments of the population. Accusations of foreign meddling, particularly against France, and exploitation of Niger's precious resources fueled the rising discontent. Surprisingly, expressions of support for Russia, a nation steadily expanding its influence in Africa through arms sales, military training, and economic deals, emerged from within Nigerian ranks. As the dust settled, the future remained precarious. The CNRDS offered no roadmap for a return to civilian rule or any dialogue with the opposition. President Bazoum and his government, reportedly under house arrest, were left in an uncertain state. The international community stood on alert, urging for a peaceful resolution of the crisis, as the world held its breath, waiting to witness the fate of Niger and its people unfold THNAK, S. Foe watching. Hope you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.